Hello, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, remember to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell. All of your likes, shares and subscribes are so greatly appreciated. It helps the channel to grow and you know it inspires others it clarifies for others that there is a group collective energy going on it also inspires me guys so when you hit that like button it actually inspires me to bring you more and do more as well so we've got to remember it's all about an energy okay um, of giving and receiving so it's greatly greatly appreciated for those who send messages confirmations through my other platforms as well not just on youtube through um, my other social media um, i get a lot of messages about these readings so thank you so much uh, a question I want to answer, uh, yes, if you see a title of a video and it's like even before Christmas or last Christmas or last year or six months ago, yes, if it's resonating now because a lot of the, the readings are uh, what's happening now or what's coming in the future that you might be dealing with. It's always future reading generally is, is the heads up, okay? Now we're going to do a reading. Uh, it is a Sagittarius full moon. So remember full moons, it's a strawberry moon. It's a big moon. Uh, I took a photo of it last night and posted it on my um, social media and it had a massive ring around it. It was amazing. Um, so we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, Oh, okay, yeah, no, sorry, I've got spirit coming in. You all know I channel, I'm a channeler more than I ever was a tarot reader. Um, that just brings in the clarification and validation for you guys. Um, so this Sagittarius full moon, around the third and fourth, full moon energy goes a week before, week after. It is an intensified energy. Sagittarius is a fire sign. It's about expansion. It's also what many people don't know. They have the biggest hearts of the zodiac. They fight for the underdog. You know, they, they are about expansion. They're the pioneer. They're the adventurers. They will help you seek new horizons. They will help you see outside of a box. They will help you see beyond your current perspective and horizon. Okay, they're also healing. They're the earth angels of the zodiac. Okay, um, yes, there's many others, but it, it's just known as that energy because um, they're the seekers of truth. So we're going to see a lot of in Jupiter, ruler of Jupiter, expansion of everything. Sorry to say this, and I'm really trying to move forward. Uh, because there is a north node aspect in this alignment um so we have to it's really hitting the north node to push you know Sagittarius will expand you beyond it expansion in all negative and positive so it's going to show up your negative aspects of where you're at who where who what when where how and why and it's going to also expand you into the positive because it is an optimistic energy it will give you that push forward um so the the pos the negative and wow the devil and the moon card we are <laughs> you know what is held in illusion what do, what do they say what's in the dark will be exposed in a full moon it's about things closing out cycles closing out what will be illuminated in in a, in a moon in a full moon energy that is as of lower vibration um uh, toxicity codependency within your that could be about you people places situations you place it where it fits but it's all coming out now and sagittarius is a deliverer of truth and i believe it's more it's self truth you know they will give the self truth to the self <coughs> and that is the journey you know it doesn't mean all sagittarians can do that each sign you are born in that sign to become that energy to learn and master that energy sometimes you come in and you've been a sagittarian before and you have that mastery and you are steps ahead in your ascension of learning that some come in at the, at the never been in that energy before and they're learning to be those things and step forward and be brave and step beyond and speak their truth you know because that's why people say oh i know a, a sagittarian or this or that or a virgo or this or that that doesn't do that that's because they're learning it's like aquarian everything everyone thinks aquarians are, are quantum and 
and you know in this Aquarian energy humanitarian energy and it can be quite the opposite they can be quite into materialistic brand names you know they've come here to learn to be more humanitarian more um you know sagittarians have become here to learn to be more uh, truthful in their truth speak their truth be courageous break beyond current limitations seeing outside the box just like Aquarian energy expanding outside the quantum field Sagittarius brings in the pioneer the paving of new ways so we will look in this new moon about new ways of sorry full moon new ways to live so we're going to look at where we've wasted time energy efforts we've destroyed lands environments you know and we are going to see how we can replenish it and we are going to want to pave new and inventive ways in that yeah so spirit just said to me let's get back to this shadow side so we're going to see a lot of expansion of truth and spirits telling me now and that will that will be spirits truth because it's all about here's the higher message these new and full moons we can utilize them as 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 humans in the third dimension we can utilize energy grow do our work and change but it's happening on a much higher dimensional frequency and spirit wants me to share a little bit of what i was shown last night so i went into a major like upgrade ascension last night guys and um i'm allowed to share a little bit of that with you basically um you know when i was pulled up into that light energy just they showed me it was like the solar system like star system and they just started to link and light up and i just saw these lights and all these uh, geographical uh, sorry geometric grids light up um, in pyramids with lights on top they said that's enough so major major ascensions are happening um, that I wasn't aware of until last night <laughs> and it wasn't something planned I was very 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 extremely tired I just went and lied down and bang I was in it so that's that's how my spirit guides work uh, ascensions should be when they're um, uh, uh, ordered by the divine we don't choose when they happen that's another thing we're going to start learning higher dimensional spiritual laws are going to come in <coughs> where you have or have not um, learnt them abided by them whatever that is um, what they showed me is now major, major upgrades and, and, and alignments and planetary alignments and your mission here. See, Sagittarius is about your adventure and your mission here. So that is all being activated. Um, anything in the way of that higher ascension will be shown um, and exposed in is going to be very rapidly, Spirit said so with the devil card you need to do your work now because these ascensions are calling you because you signed up for them way before you came here way before any third dimensional issue okay that you're experiencing now um you have assignments to complete um a lot of the twin flame um we're going to talk about that because that's higher ascension people have got that twin flame energy so so wrong you know um they think a twin flame is about triggering and they turned it into a toxic relationship thinking this is my twin we're triggered all the time we're evolving and they're not they're just they're actually in absolute toxicity and lower vibrational karmic relationships learning lessons um twin flame energies are higher ascended ascended sorry alignments that are uh, activated by the higher up so and they have a spiritual ten spirits and they have a spiritual journey a spiritual mission and a spiritual job to do working with their twin for the universe not not for them not for you know what we need what we want to achieve no 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 it's a higher um, energy vibrations that need to come together for the raising of the frequency of the earth it's got a much higher and spirits sort of having a laugh than than these humans have made it <laughs> 
but I'm with my twin and it's toxic and we, we trigger each other. I can tell you um, if you hurt your true twin that chosen by the divine, by an energy alignment, amazing things um, when your energies come together happen for humanity uh, in people. Okay, so if you're just being triggered in a toxic energy with your partner and it's all about you and your partner and fighting and arguing and on and off and in and out and fight, that's not a twin flame union, okay? Uh, you, can, you can actually uh, heal people uh, as in a higher energy healing in the light. It's, it's got to be of purity. It's got to be of absolute purity. And if you are in a toxic energy, that is um, maybe your 3D, it's just a 3D, um, a mimic of a twin. Um, no true twin can. And yes, we're not going to go into it because there's dark and light, but that's what we're seeing. The moon and the devil, we're seeing the dark and the light, and we're seeing through that, and it will be exposed. So fate, see, fate is coming out. The other thing is uh, the energies at the moment, the planetary alignments with this full moon are pushing you into your north node. There is a major, major re-evaluation of how we're living, okay? That's basically all I can bring to you with, with the elements, Think expansion, and some of those are spiritual, energetic, vibrational, 3D, 5D. There, it, it all I can say to you is it lit up like a Christmas tree, and they showed me how everything now is is gridding and up, gridding up. Yeah, look at that expansion beyond your current horizon. See this person being pulled, knowing their ships, knowing they need to seek horizons or their ships are coming in or whatever it is, there's a light on that. Sorry, I'm trying to. Um, but see that? Ready to set sail. And there's passion, there's action that needs to be taken. All right, let's get some cards out. Let's get a message out for you guys. Things will come to me. I'm going to do a lot more channeling on the channel because, to be honest, I have to inspire myself as well. And I have a little rest from channeling. Um, although you're always channeling, um, I have to have a little... Yeah, there could be some big... Oh, where is it? Yeah, we have this card here. This is about um, regrets disappointments, five of cups, things not working out, okay? And it is time um, to reflect on that spirit said, okay, 10 of pentacles. So someone is in deep regret over, the 10 of pentacles is something I can build a lifetime in, something I can build a legacy, something I can grow in. And I'm talking grow financially, love, the whole thing. It's stability. What's coming out? This is heavy straight away, guys. Passion. Fast action. The expansion card out again. We have the Ace of Wands, new beginning. Look at that. Wanting to move forward, new beginning. Another fast, passionate, fiery. We've got a lot of wands and swords out here. Someone wants to move towards their Ten of Pentacles. Let's call it their North Node energy, okay? Now... Three more cards, Spirit said. Oh, another one, a page of wands. Two of cups. There we go. There we go into our North Node, into higher divine unions, um, purposes, paths, uh, journeys. Uh, no, unions. Hmm? I'm getting corrected this morning. Um, I had a big ascension last night. Look, security, stability. I want to build with you. I want to build a life, a foundation. A marriage, a home, a, a business, or whatever. It, it's basically foundation. And the four ones are 11, 11. They're also about the twin flame energy because it's so weird for me to bring up that energy um, in. And we have the two of cups, which can be the twin flame energy. Now, do not say, I'm with my twin, all right? I'm going to rip the label off because it will not be a 3D um, thing you can... No, Spirit told me, be careful what you say here. Okay, let's just say 
uh, it like this. What spirit wants to say is this. People are being alerted to their higher purpose, higher pur person, higher path and higher journey with a spiritual mission. Why they're here. It will defy everything and anything that you've been taught, ingrained, uh, your belief systems, brainwashed. Uh, it probably won't fit in society, in the norm. It will, you know, it may, it may not. But it will, it, this, is, this is a higher spiritual calling, knowing, journey, purpose, and um, you are being called there. So whatever you have to let go, whatever's about to expose in whoever, whatever, career, job, person, place, it's happening and it's happening fast. Look, genuine love of, that's about you being also being um, giving and moving forward to what you are genuinely feel love, connection and spirituality to. So many people are living out of their uh, spiritual alignment, their spiritual karmic soulmates, their spiritual karmic twins, their spiritual karmic high divine unions, their spiritual high divine partners, whatever you want to call it and label it. So many people are out of alignment. They're with karmics, they're learning lessons, they chose wrong, they went into their south node. It, un it imbalances the whole universal evolution. And that's why we call it the devil, the dark, the lower, the frequency. It's an energy and entities that try and keep everybody in their lower vibrational frequency to hold back and fight against the ascension. So if you move forward, you are for the ascension of light, the ascension of the universe, the ascension of everybody. If you are the other energy that doesn't, and, and I look, I cannot make this up, that doesn't, that is um, against this or blocked this or can't move, the, you know, well, just know this, you're fighting the universe at the moment. You're not fighting yourself or, or your person, place, yeah, look, illusion, moon. What is going on here? Hanged man, king of wands, ace of wands, hanged man. What, this is... This is all over the shop. I can feel it. This person's energy, maybe your energy, you know, expansion with Jupiter is going to expand any everything. It may make you feel a little cray-cray uh, all over the shop. But here's the biggest message of all. You need the world cards are reset. It's going into the new and it is a leap into the unknown. You will feel like a page. You haven't been there before. It's out of your comfort zone. You have not walked this path before. You have not taken these leaps of faith before. This is about giving it a go, seeing how it works, being brave and stepping in and being an adventurer and a pioneer. The adventurers and the pioneers of the world of history did not hold back and stay in the village. They ventured out. They went and explored things that were helped with the evolution forward of us knowing things beyond our current village back in the day. That's the energy. Look at this reevaluation of, of connections, reevaluation of spiritual connections, reevaluation. There's got to be more. And, and this is about who now I want to give to. So there is a strong theme here, moon, illusion, emotion, looking beyond and across the waters to something else or something afar or, or to move forward from their current situation. But the hanged man shows me a new beginning and seeing things the wrong way. Oh, they were in the hanged man and now they have their power and energy fire wants to move forward very passionately and that my god is a fire sign energy right there the Sagittarius Aries Leo fire 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 and there'd be more Aries in Sagittarius than Leo because Leo um will hold back in, in a different way it's just a different energy so here we go communication definitely wants to come in from somebody uh, they feel terrible or they're in a bad position or energy or they feel 
um, they're in regret, disappointed. They definitely want to message you. This is a message set up by spirit. These are messages, texts, emails, conversations set up by spirit. Now, this defensiveness against this Ten of Pentacles is not you. You have a fight on your hands or someone has been trying to block and play games, choices, illusions, delusions in you moving forward. I'm going to say it. I, I, there's an energy coming through. There's another reading I'm going to have to do. I don't want to do it, but I know I'm going to have to answer or it's, it's just building and it keeps creeping into every reading. <coughs> so I'll do another reading in that. I'll just try and push that energy out. These are people trying to play with people's fates. These are people trying to take people off course. These are people they teamed up with that pulled them off course. They're trying to get in spiritual alignment and now they're, they're trying to pull them off course again with choices and illusions, delusions. See, they're trying to do passion and fast action and dramas to pull them off course again. Yeah, yeah. There'll be justice over this illusion, delusion, moon card and blocking anybody going forward. Because again, we can't make it clear. You cannot fight the divine with spell work, energy work, manipulation work, whatever you want to call it. You cannot fight the divine in the end. It will have victory and you will have victory over seeing things upside down and the wrong way. Yeah, look at this. There's passion. Somebody's going to a lover, a soulmate, a, a choice choices here high low paths high low energies they're moving fast they want to move towards a lover they want a new world a reset with someone they put out in the cold of the past um and they want to step forward and they have no idea they have no courage they feel like oh my god i don't know how this is gonna go um and see the death card to the two of cups and a reevaluation. So whatever they have learned on this journey, maybe they were with a false twin, maybe they were with a karmic, maybe they learned lessons. I don't know. We have the moon, illusion, justice. We have disappointment, regret on the board. This is someone re-evaluating and they really, it, it, there's the death card. So that shows me that they can't deny it. They can't unsee it. They can't um, resurrect or go back like a death is an ending an ending of a cycle you know you you've seen truth and it made you reevaluate or them okay take it whichever way and see this new path security stability want to build giving and off on the right path so this full moon is going to bring in um over the next i'll go six months the right path, six weeks, Spirit said, really, but some people, timing's different. Look in six months, um, how you're seeing what you're seeing. Look at this heartbreak here, the past, going very inward. Spirit's taking a lot of people inward. I cannot make it up. The tower is about spirit. Spirit is taking a lot of people inward. It's telling you it's time to step up. It's time to be who you are supposed to be. It's time to put in the work, the effort, the security, the stability. Stop mucking around. Stop learning lessons from karmic. Stop being in toxicity. Stop staying in your comfort zone. Stop. It, it, it's a block in evolution, your evolution, which is the evolution of the collective consciousness. And while you don't put the work in and step up and face all this, they're asking you to face it, see? And do the work and and get out of this disappoint like this energy is not working that you're in. Your higher purpose, your higher path, what you were here to do. That can be anything. That doesn't have to be spiritual work. That can be anything when you are in alignment, when you're happy. I don't know, digging holes all day or, you know, I don't know, watching birds or your career or whatever it is. I don't know. That's legacy. That's alignment. When you're in alignment and look, someone has done nothing but block this. And they did it through communication, messages. Oof, they did. Okay. Okay, we'll just deal with this quickly. Sorry, guys. 
I want you to be very discerning and trust your intuition because this person, this Queen of Swords here, definitely caused a lot of heartbreak. They, they interfered with um, messages. So they could have made up text messages, emails, falsified documents. I don't know. But whatever they did, they were blocking your Ten of Pentacles or wanting your Ten of Pentacles. I had blocking it because they tried to block you moving on here um, and getting you know, into balance with the whole higher universal purpose of your future, where you're meant to go. And they did create a lot of illusion and dreams. Yes, see, they put a lot of work and they caused towers and burdens on this person and they closed out a cycle. And we have the King and Queen of Pentacles here. So they created illusion about this King and Queen of Pentacles energy uh, from the, yeah, you, vice versa. The masculine to the feminine, the feminine to the masculine. But this person in the middle, look what they did, tug of war. They created a Ten of Swords, an ultimate betrayal by putting burdens on someone who missed an opportunity moving forward to their future. And that future was the Ten of Pentacles legacy. Not just with this person, that is with the universe. That is an opportunity with the universe. And this is why they are so heartbroken and in despair. It is reminiscing about an empress. I've got the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and an empress in the middle. So they let go. No, they've never let go. They're the, see, spirit's funny. You don't because it's their heart, but they're reminiscing and pine, pining about this empress. <laughs> I cannot make it up. The lesson was to stand up to those coming at you, blocking you, having a go, having their say. You, it's strength. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, energy, strength card. This person needed, this emperor needed to um, find the strength to stand up to people, to speak their truth to have, be with this empress, see, king, queen, and they had to become single, independent, um, I would say they were codependent, in toxic devil energy, low vibrational energy, teamed up with a low vibrational par person, situation, journey to learn lessons because they were low vibrational, that's why, okay, spirit wants me to understand, yeah, look, they teamed up a king and queen of swords, there's no love here, this is, this is a business deal. This is um, a win-win, uh, you know, who can win against each other. Battle of the wits, battle of the wins. <coughs> so it was just about who could get on top or in control. So that's who they went to. <coughs> they thought this person was their twin. Here's where the twin issue comes in. They thought this person was their twin or if it wasn't their twin, their higher path, their higher purpose, their equal. And they did see that person as their equal. There's a death to that now. And the reason they saw this person as their equal, because they both were in these swords energy and there was illusion created and there were blocks on them moving forward um, by creating uh, burdens, blockages, ultimate betrayals, to stop them moving forward to their higher future path, their Ten of Pentacles. And they, they did that through communication or actually writing, texting, email, because that is communication. That communication and, and other communication is going to come out up now and out, and it will create, I cannot make it up, come up, anything hidden, anything in the dark, manipulated, Anything that this person did to block this person being with the Empress and Emperor, the, um, the King and Queen of Wands are a couple that are meant to be together, a two of cups um, with a higher purpose. We've got a higher divine purpose, not a 3D purpose. Oh, we've had, we've got a family, or we've got this. This is your higher spiritual ascended purpose. Yeah, regret again. Okay, yep, block. Someone trapped them, blocked. Look, they used information or manipulation on whatever level to block them. Or where you did that, 
Now you're going to have to face it or they are the imbalance because you have to move forward to everywhere and anywhere you didn't want to or didn't want to see or felt self-imposed restriction here. The nine of swords, the spirit is going to or has put you in the nine of swords, that's your tower. Where you couldn't move, where you couldn't expand, where you couldn't step into your spiritual contract that you came here for, <laughs> they're, they're pushing you. Sagittarius will push you into the truth because you are supposed to collaborate with your Ten of Pentacles and the Star card. See, this was manifested by the universe. This was created in the universe before you came here. Here's the star alignment that I saw. Light up. Ten of Cups, collaboration. And that's happening for everybody, not just me. I, I was seeing a future vision. Yep, this person has to move forward where they didn't. They're now being judged by the divine, or you will be, and they have to put the past behind them. All right, it's fated. The fated wheel of change is the universe making those changes. They have to step forward into their spiritual self, their heart self, their activation into their wish fulfillment. They have to fulfill these cups the, this lifetime. Okay. They have a higher contract. I cannot make it up. They have a higher contract and it needs to be um, celebrated, accepted. Um, King and Queen of Cups, look. King. Um, okay. I'm just going to say it real quick. King, Queen of Cups, Spiritual Higher Ascended um, Partnership, the Future, Choices Between Lovers. So I'm just going to say it to wrap it up, to clear it out. What we learned up until now is all about our decisions and our choices and where we put our energy. And that was based on our vibrational level. So if someone or something went back, or you or someone went back to a toxic energy, they were a match for that toxic energy. They were. That's exactly the energy they were in. And spirit put them exactly where they needed to be to mirror their toxicity, but it was in lower vibrational south node toxicity. We can be a match to anyone, a vibrational match. That doesn't mean you're a spiritual match. That doesn't mean you've made the right choices, decisions, or vibrational frequency choices and decisions. That does not mean you're in alignment. I can go out there and be as toxic as anything today and meet my match. That will match that. So we have to learn between mimicking energy because we feel like a match to that person when we mimic and this person took them into their devil side. Yeah, we got the devil and we had the magician. Yep. The magician and the and the ace of cups sorry the magician was just there conflict and the universe i can oh, it was just there yeah the magician healing someone yeah this was all about deceit deception trick and you know what the deceit deception trickery was turned that way this is about people who use it heal who used healing or needed healing or used energy or magic or manipulation or energy manipulation or any type of manipulation uh, but they used it for healing energy, which is the lead on to the next video that I know I need to get out. So the universe oversaw all this deceit, deception, um, blocking people's paths to their abundance, their spiritual journey. See, the devil. Yeah, yeah. It's all being illuminated where this um, energy here uh, presented yeah so that you know what we want you to discern now is uh, the truth of your vibrational situation or environment or connection now you might be a match to that person because of low vibration and you may have been sent back in to do that or do that work or you chose it but there's a higher path here and this is where we learn that, that the universe and spirit guides and higher divine light beings come in and hold you accountable to your highest and best path and temperance and balance and healing and clearly with the king and queen of cups and a higher spiritual contract here that's written that needs to be seen that, that didn't want to be seen 
And this person had to discern, had to learn about deception. A quick note here, and then I'm like, oh, we'll see, spirits. <laughs> I want to wrap it up. Um, see, nine of swords again. So here's what I want to say. When you're in, uh, when you move into your higher divine spiritual purposes, or let's say empress energy, emperor energy, um, get with a divine counterpart, you know, a king, a queen, a cup, or a match that's got a higher spiritual union, equal give and take. Want to both bring to the table equally and protect each other. You will be tested. If the universe sends you in someone, you know, star seed, an empress, or the light worker, I don't, I don't know, just someone of, let's say, that energy, you will be tested, particularly if it's an empress. They will throw you a Jezebel spirit to test you to see how loyal you are to the empress energy and, and the emperor energy. If you get an emperor and you want to go and be, uh, they will throw you in Jezebel spirits. They will test you. They will test your integrity. They will test your truth. They will test your strength. They will test your ability with deceit, deception, and how to discern it. And if you can't, they will block you. They will block you from that journey. They will block you from that journey. They will block you from that spiritual connection. They will blindfold you so that you cannot see this queen of pentacles, stable, loving, caring, nurturing, and they will put an end to it because they'll send you off and they'll say, we tested you. And that's why you find a lot of emperors and empresses are people who have been independent or on their own a long time. People come because they have higher purposes. They've been through a lot of adversity. They are not higher than anyone on this energy realm, but they've had more wisdom, more mastery, more battles, more sacrifices. They've done the work. They've, they've, they've soldiered through independently. They've conquered in codependence. Um, toxicities, they've mastered things, they've followed the steps of the divine. They just kept following the divine steps and doing it in integrity, learning their lesson and moving forward, taking step by step, listening to the divine. That's why they're empress and emperor energy. If you are not in that, you are not in emperor and empress energy. It is being able to handle all facets of your life yourself solely alone on yourself and been through adversity to do so. It's building something from the ground up. That is empress and em emperor energy and it is overseen by the divine, guided by the divine, and you've stayed true to your path, you've stayed true to your calling, you've stayed in your spiritual integrity. That's when you're uh, bestowed emperor and empress energy. Now, if you are sent into an emperor or empress's energy, yes, you will get the blessings and the upgrades and the, the protection of, of their work, their, their work with the divine, their, their karmic chips with the divine. But if you come in and lie, cheat, manipulate, try to trick, steal, um, uh, you know, have a wandering eye or a wandering wand or a one you know jumping from camp to camp you know jumping from tribe to tribe we call it um yeah third parties you want to bring third parties in you want to start playing games you want the best of both worlds you want to be no 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 you will be removed from empress energy or emperor energy and i cannot make it up if you come into it, this energy you have to build and move forward you have to level up grow up commit be serious no peter pan energy male or female you have to become a grown-up, mature person. You need to know how to conquer the devil in you and in others around you. You know how to need to know how to see the devil, see through the devil, and not be tempted by the devil. If you're tempted by the devil, love, lust, succubus, Jezebel, wandering eye, you know, wanting it all, you, you're fated, you're fated um, to be thrown out in balance. You, you will not last with an empress energy, this independent energy. You have to be, an emperor and an empress is not influenced by um, 
uh, like, like not lured, not not tricked by uh, temp temperance energy, tempted. You know the Jezebels, the the lower vibrational frequencies. They see through them. They put an end to them. They see straight through them. They've been there, done that. They can see straight through you too, playing your games, choices. Okay, they'll just cut it off. They won't. They won't. Yeah, they won't build. They, they're only looking for what they can build. See, star card. Pour into, pour love, pour um, security, stability. Because they have a higher mission. They know it. They know that's how you get abundance. They know that's how you know integrity works. So here's the thing. Why do you need to know this? Is because we're all being upgraded. We're all being ascended. We're all being thrown into higher spiritual contracts and realms. I'm gonna sneeze, guys. <clears throat> so you will be going through this on some level, or feel this, or experience this, or have this. Everybody does. Even emperors and empresses do. Just on a different level about different things, okay? You're either doing it in 3D or 5D lessons. <laughs> you're always learning lessons. You're either doing them in the 3D, the devil, or the 5D, the spiritual. Listening to the spiritual calling. Even though you're comfortable and got all these cups, there's always something here pulling us to the spiritual. And some of you were tested of how you move in the light and the dark or with the dark and the light and that's the situation you may have found yourself in or whoever you're you know you're inquiring or needing to know answers um we were tested all right by the divine yes yeah, see out of nowhere faded very fast and it's going to happen very fast. And that Sagittarius energy is like lightning. Yep, messages coming from spirit wherever they were blocked. Yep, he's got all that betrayal blocked. Oh, okay, it's big. Um, any other messages? I will do a follow-on because, yeah, look, yep, nine of swords moving forward. Going very inward. Spirit's about to send you inward and there are some real truths coming. And don't worry, we all get truth. Some of them are not good messages. Some of them are not able to, you know, you... Rejection, overindulgence, rejection, not listening to the intuition, not taking the offers the universe gave, not seeing epiphanies, not wanting to move forward, false, in, uh, you know, that they're not good messages in reverse about a start, heartbreak. It's the same message. That's showing me to wrap up the reading. Someone's just realised the hand of the divine is stepping in here and their heart is pouring out with love and happiness and fated wheel and they're going to build with their star what's written in the stars they may not know how to come forward but it will all be illuminated and there will be success someone here had to go in and conquer the devil and they had to get out of contracts with the devil because they they signed some contracts with the devil that now they have to clean up, which is why I got the six weeks to the six months of clearing things up. Because look at this Queen of Wands, she's back. This one, this energy, male or female, was the devil. Blocking. Look at it. Ruling. Blocking. Third parties. Interference interfered with where you were supposed to go, where you were supposed to build. You thought you were with like-minded people. You thought you were with the one. You thought you were on the right track. You thought you were hanging out with the right people. You thought you were in the right career. I don't know. These people were not working with you. They were working to block you, to work against you. And now you, and that was the lesson that you didn't fail, was to get the strength to turn your back on these people, move forward and be independent. 
And, and until you do, this energy will come in around you. Yep. And deceive you. And show you things upside down because you're easily influenced. You're easily tricked you're in your mind. You're easily ruled when you're, when you're codependent. Mm. That was a big lesson. We're going to do a follow up, follow on, but I've, I've got to wrap it up. I have to go. Um, so don't worry if you're feeling out in the cold. Things are in balance. The universe is overseeing it all, guys. Look at this. Look at the Empress, the universe, the Hierophant, the Two of Cups, the, the highest spiritual calling, and any illusion or oh, is about to get the sword of truth. So this Ten of Pentacles can come in for you. All right, take care. Thank you.